Hello and welcome to a review of the Dell XPS 15. There was so much I could say about this laptop, but I'm going to keep this video simple and sort of run through what I like and what I don't really like about the laptop. If you are interested in buying this thing, there's a link down in the description to an Amazon page where you can pick this thing up. So the Dell XPS 15 comes up at around £1,600, I think a similar amount in dollars, which is definitely high. But my model comes with an i7-7700HQ, quad-core 2.8GHz, 16GB of RAM, a GTX 1050, 4GB, 512GB SSD and a 1080p screen. For ports on the left hand side we have a power input, a USB 3, a Thunderbolt 3 ports and a headphone jack and on the right hand side we have another USB 3 port and an SD card slot which is a nice selection there. My favourite thing about this laptop has definitely got to be that display. I've had it a while and I still can't get over how damn good it looks with those tiny bezels. My version is the 1080p with I think a 98% sRGB colour gamut and 65% Adobe RGB. For, like I said the 4K model is available and this I think has about 100% of both RGB colour gamuts. So, so that's why it is so good for video editing and photo editing, the colours are on point. It is a 60Hz IPS matte panel, which has incredible viewing angles with very little colour shift. I didn't go for the 4K model as I prioritised performance, battery life and of course my wallet. My second favourite thing is the overall design. On the outside we have a very premium feeling metallic material. And it just, it feels like you paid £1,500 plus for it. And the one th thing I don't really like about the design is the hinge. It's a little bit too stiff, but it's, it's, not, it's not the biggest deal really. And the main thing is the inside material and what's just around the keyboard. We have a sort of carbon fibre design which gets really greasy and really fingerprinty, which is annoying. And I don't want to have to wipe it every couple of days just to clean it and make it look nice again. The keyboard is very nice however, it also gets a bit fingerprinty, but the key travels very nice, it's generally a really good laptop to type on and do things like Word documents as well. And also the speakers are pretty terrible, At, they're on the bottom front of the laptop, I'm not quite sure why they put it there. They generally sound quite tinny, very lack, a severe lack of bass and general lack of clarity. If you do put the volume up they sound pretty, pretty terrible. So onto its performance, like I said, it is the 4 core 2.8 gigahertz i7, which means it's really good for video editing. Probably as good as one of the brand new MacBook Pros when using Adobe Premiere Pro. For gaming, I can play GTA 5 at, I think, high settings at around 40 to 50 FPS. Roma 6 Siege, high, a solid 60. And Far Cry 4 is generally around 40 to 50 FPS at medium high settings. I haven't noticed any thermal throttling, which is really good. Uh, temperatures don't usually go any higher than I think about 70, 75 degrees. And generally, I think I think the thermal solution is really good on this laptop. It also doesn't get too loud when editing videos. It does when playing games, obviously. But the battery life can last me I think a full day unless I'm editing videos or gaming. On the whole, I I love this laptop. I've used it for about four months and I definitely made the right decision getting this thing over anything else in the market. It plays games, it edits 4K video at full resolution playback, extremely smoothly and comfortably, colour graded with a Cinelike D picture profile for those of you who know what that means. I took it to Canada for a few weeks and it was I had no trouble taking this thing around with me. If you have £1,600 to splash out on a new laptop, I would strongly recommend the Dell XPS 15 over the MacBook Pro or most of its other competitors. But thanks so much for watching this video. Like I said, there's a link in the description for this laptop if you want to go and have a look or if you want to purchase it, because I recommend that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech and camera goodness. I'll see you all in the next video.